constitution. So these are some of the points that uh, we have deliberated and we have taken a decision to pursue with the respective state governments and also with the central government of India. Thank you. Should be repealed by the government of India. We also oppose and demand for the repeal of the Citizenship Amendment Act of 2019. Even though exemptions were made in some states of the northeastern region, like the ILP areas and the 68 areas in which this act will not be applicable, but the NESO still, we feel that this act is detrimental to the interests of the Indian peoples of the northeast, and as such, we demand to repeal this act, the CEA 2019. We have been demanding and we reiterate a demand for a con special constitutional status with rights over land and natural resources in all the northeastern states and also we should have a separate time zone for the northeast. We demand the centre to declare the flood and erosion in the northeast as a national problem. Where well, we held the uh, function there at Komulu and in this uh, six year conference we have nominated the office bearers for the office of the NESO for the term of 2022 to 2025. So first of all, uh, before we start this press conference, I would like to call upon all the officials of NESO to give a self-introduction. I will start with myself. Uh, I'm Mr. Samuel Bijewa, the chairman of the Northeast Students Organization. Uh, was Mr. Sinam Prakash Singh, who is now the advisor, and a new secretary general is Mr. Mursi Koyo Yobo from the Nagasans Federation. And we also have another advisor who was the vice chairman earlier, Mr. Upendra De Parma from the Pupil Process Federation. And we also have a new uh, assistant secretary general, Mr. Wang Jam Sangtam Toba Mete from the government. Sixth General Conference of the North Eastern Organization. We have taken uh, resolutions on very important issues. <coughs> that is, the first issue is on the illegal immig immigration, which is affecting the different states of the Northeastern region, and it's continuing to affect the demographic structure of the Northeastern region, especially here in the state of Tripura, in which the indigenous peoples of Tripura are being reduced to a minority in their own land. <coughs> and the NESO on this issue has uh, taken a resolution that we will take up this issue from time to time and we will explore all possible all possibilities to fight against this menace of illegal infiltration and to take up this issue with the concerned state governments at the state and at the, also at the central level and to work out modalities and structures according to the prevailing situation in this each state of the northeastern region. And on education in the different states of the northeast, we have seen the scenario of the education in the different states of the northeast, which is in a very bad state. And this general conference, after deliberation at length with regard to the issue of education in the different states of the northeast, the general conference is of the opinion that the present system is predominantly of the formal form of education. Even though we recognize the importance of the formal form of education, but we have also resolved that the present system of education should also include and introduce more importantly job-oriented courses, the introduction of vocational institutes, and also the curriculum should include the traditional values like culture, history, geography of the indigenous peoples of the northeastern region, and we demand that the state and the central government should set up more professional and technical institutes in all the states of the northeastern region. Employment and economic development of the northeast. The NESO strongly urged the government of India to make the northeast a special employment zone, to set up regional, regional placement or employment exchange in the northeast with its network <coughs> covering the whole of the northeastern region. The recruitment of local youth in central government establishment be reviewed and in that they should give 100% employment 
in whichever state such an established central establishment is set up, not only in the grade D and grade 4, but also maximum absor absorption in the grade 1 and grade 2 of the course. And the Northeast, the government of India should treat Northeast as a special economic zone. And very important uh, resolution is with regard to the state of Tripura, in which the House also unanimously adopted a resolution to demand for a special constitutional safeguard for the Tripura with vast federal authority and also the Northeast students' organization and the people of Northeast will always stand together shoulder to shoulder with the indigenous peoples of Tripura to protect and uplift their identity, culture with rights over land and natural resources. So these are the resolutions that we have adopted in this sixth general conference. And apart from these uh, uh, resolutions that we have adopted, the NESO has again reiterated its stand on many important issues in which we have raised to the central government and also the state government from time to time. And these issues are the demand for the implementation of the inline permit in all the states of the northeastern region to conduct the national register of citizens in all other remaining states of North, states of the northeast with a specific cut of year or a base year according to the unique situation of that particular state. As the published updated NRC for the national register of citizens in Assam is not fully correct, we demand that there should be a re-examination of the whole process of NRC of Assam to implement all provisions of the Assam Accord 1985 and for the implementation of the recommendation of the Committee on Plus 6 of the Assam Accord for constitutional safeguard. We also demand, we have been demanding the repeal of the impunitive legislations like the Armed Forces Special Powers Act which has created a lot of problem, a lot of ill treatment and a lot of uh, extra constitutional debts to the innocent people of the northeastern region and especially with the recent massacre in, in the December 2021 at Oting in which 14 innocent people lost their lives and the armed forces, the people in the armed forces who perpetrated this massacre are still roaming free because of the protection of this armed forces special pause act.